cannot rotate. We cannot rotate our pelvis, we cannot rotate our shoulders. We have to tilt at launch. The tilt at launch, when I coil my hip around my leg, and then if I rotate, I coil and uncoil. Coil and uncoil. What I need to do is coil and tilt. My hip socket will coil and then it will fall over the back of my leg. Coil, tilt. And I know this looks exaggerated and obvious and wrong when I demonstrate it, but it's absolutely critical. Coil, tilt. Okay? The tilt is in the hip socket. You might be looking at my shoulders. You might be looking, you know, because the shoulders are what you, you the no, most noticeable thing. But here's a shoulder tilt. Okay? I just tilt my shoulders, I do that. When I tilt in my hip socket, I feel like I'm falling back that way. Okay? Better? Tilt like this. I know it looks crazy. Okay? So when I create my corner and then stretch myself behind my corner, I'm going to snap my barrel right there over top of that line. And I'm going to tilt in my hip socket so that my shoulders stay parallel to that line as long as, po as possible. Watch what my leg does when I do that. I'm not doing this to my leg. My leg is responding to what I'm doing. Watch my leg. There's my coil, there's my stretch, there's my tilt. My knee went down and in as a result of the tilt. I did not drive my knee down and in. I coiled and I stretched and then I tilted. And this leg now is in front of me, my butt, my barrel, my weight, everything is behind this leg, and now this leg will snap instantly and pull you through the zone. You cannot afford frames is when the barrel goes rearward as the leg turns forward. So that, okay, that. Most hitters do this. Right. Okay. We want this leg. We want. First of all, you need to note the angle that this is happening at. This is happening at a line to the shortstop. Yours will happen at, on a line to the second baseman. We don't swing the bat pitcher to catcher to pitcher. We swing it from our handset toward the opposite infielder, but our leg will turn us into the ball. Okay? This angle here is critical. Whether, whether I tip the barrel or whether I just hold it here, this angle is critical and my leg turns it to the ball. Okay? No arm action at all. It's just this this wrist or hand forearm action. Okay. And then the leg takes it the rest of the way. What what'll help you is you think you get, get set up. If you think you get, get, turn this knob up. See how that what that barrel did? When this knob goes up that barrel does what it's supposed to do. When you think knob forward, then your barrel's gonna come out here. We want this knob to go up right away. Okay? Back up in here in our scap. We want to feel our scap get pinched toward our spine. Okay? And then when it's time to launch, we want to get depth of our barrel. We don't want the hands to come forward. We want to snap our hands back here. We want to get the feeling that the barrel's alignment to our forearm, our forearm's alignment to our body, it's vertical, okay? I say vertical, it, because if we bend over, it's not vertical anymore, but it's in this position. It's the equivalent of making a muscle, although I'm not fortunate. But this hand has to stay here as long as possible in order to get the barrel to snap around it with a swivel, okay? When I play, I, I pushed my bat like this. I had this kind of action with my hand and arm. Can't let that happen. We've got to turn it off our shoulder, just like this, okay? So the purpose of the high T, and I'm gonna, you'll probably hear me say it several times today, get the high T feeling, get the high T feeling. And that's this feeling right here, okay? Where you got the twist around your leg and you pull it into your back and you're gonna snap like that, okay? All right, set up. I want you to load as if you're going to hit my barrel. In other words, we're going to create the high T feeling. So look at my barrel, get loaded up for it. 
right? Now, all you have to do to get on plane is this. Just to bend the waist a little bit. Just make it bend forward. Okay, there you go. And now you're going to tilt a little bit as you swing. Just like that. Okay? In other words, the feeling that you get for the high tee should be the same feeling you get for this ball in your back. This setup here remains the same. I didn't, for this ball here, I didn't bring my arms down here and, and change my setup. I have the same setup I had for the high tee. I just bend over at the waist a little bit to get on plane, and then I'm still going to snap my barrel into depth and tilt my torso, and the bat will jump. Uh, the reason I switched to basically turn the barrel or the high level uh, swing with my players even at UNO or now even down at Bellevue, I've switched colleges just at times, but is I always get the question of how do I find more power? And it's not about always home runs, but power is by driving the ball deep, lifting the ball a little bit. People get worried about that, but we try to find ways to make them more efficient. To make them more efficient, we work hard to work behind the ball as much as we can. When we do that, we create time so that I'm able to, one, make decisions later instead of trying to go get it. We create time, creating that depth before I have to make a decision to go. So a lot of things happen. The higher the level the pitches, I feel like kids get away with some things with sometimes a push swing. When we get later, the movement of the pitches, trying to recognize what's going on, the time that this creates, the depth for them, give me more time to make a decision before I take off. But it's also creating that lift for the power that people want. This, to me, brings the body together as one instead of making it a chest and arms versus turning back, turning the legs right through it. So right. I've switched to it just because of one, I've seen it play. As I, when I introduced myself, I've seen it play. I've seen 115 pounders hit 20 home runs at the college game, and everyone's wondering how. My players have usually been told, your kid's hands are quick. But it had nothing to do with the hands being quick here. They just would see how fast the barrel would be delivered to the pitch and how deep we could allow it to get to us.